we're walking through all the free sewing machine tutorials for the Singer SE 9180. And these are great videos to watch, especially if you are looking to buy this machine or if you've already purchased it, let's make sure that you're doing everything correctly from the beginning. Make sure that you come back to these videos, maybe watch them one or two more times. You'll always catch something the second time around. There is a link to all the videos in the order we want you to watch them in, in the description below. And if you do want to jump right over to the embroidery videos, we also have an online course that will help you master this machine from start to finish instantly. So check out, again, those links in the description below. So let's talk accessories that came with this machine. We're going to see sewing accessories and embroidery accessories in here. You can keep them in a little pouch, but there is an opening right here that you roll forward and you can kind of store right here close by. So they're always with your machine when you need them. So whatever works for you. I will tell you that the one thing I was noticing with this machine is there's only three bobbins that come with this machine. That's going to be one thing you're going to want to get more of instantly. So let's talk about bobbins. This is not a, an option to mix and match from previous machines unless you're sure this is the exact same size. So you want to click that link below in the description. I'll shoot you over to where you can buy bobbins online or you can go back to where you bought your machine. Also, Husqvarna Viking and Faf stores will have these bobbins for you as well. I'm going to be showing you the perfect way to wind a bobbin correctly every single time. So just make sure you uh, check out that video. The idea with these videos is that they're short and sweet and you can kind of go find the one you need when you're having trouble in that particular area. So three bobbins. Okay, here's what I would probably do. And what most of my students say that they like, they like to have 10 bobbins at least for sewing and 10 bobbins at least for embroidery. And you'll see why once you get started. And so around that 20 to 30 bobbins would be an excellent amount. So that's a great thing to search out for sooner than later. Trust me. Needles. Needles is going to be another thing that we're going to talk about a lot of times with different fabrics and also different thread thicknesses. You do have a small pack of Singer needles that come with this machine. I am noticing that there's ballpoint needles, which would be for knit fabrics and universal needles, which are kind of for like most fabrics. Okay, the first thing that you want to go get is some embroidery needles. So you don't have to buy Singer branded needles. So if you just go to your local soy machine store, trust me, they are there to help. They will hook you up with something else. So Schmetz is one brand of needle that is good on all home soy machines, but you will want to have like embroidery type needles for when you actually switch over to the embroidery side. And I'll tell you when I use some of these embroidery needles to actually sew with, but just keep that in mind. Um, you could go get any needle that is for a home sewing machine, they will work. But we'll talk about like when a denim needle is right or a top stitch needle or a twin needle. There's all sorts of needles, but you always need to have plenty and I'll also put a link, speaking of needles, you can buy needles in a hundred pack. They are so much cheaper. So honestly, hop in that link below and I'll hook you up with a hundred pack of needles that you can not worry about running out. So trust me, that is a nice little bit. But once again, you do not have to buy Singer branded needles to use in this machine. Trust me, it's sometimes easier to find other brands than to always be searching out this one brand. Okay, what else is in here? Now we are going to find a lot of accessory sewing feet, oh, but the biggest one in here, let's just pull it out first, is the embroidery foot. Now you'll notice this one is a little different than a traditional sewing foot that just kind of slips on or snaps on here. When you have a foot like this, it actually needs this screw on the side to be removed and this goes in its place. This is almost like a hopping foot and that's what we use for embroidery. So just make sure you keep that close by when you wanna switch around. This long one, and so in no particular order here, is a buttonhole foot. It's actually really cool because you take your button, you put it in the back of the foot here 
so you get the perfect length and then it travels and makes that perfect buttonhole for the size of button you have placed. So we'll do videos on buttonholes so you know how that works. This one here is a, I know this always looks funny. People always ask me, what is this? And this is a zipper foot. So it, it actually has two places. You can either be on the right side, depending if where your zipper uh, bulk is of the teeth. So sometimes you're on the left or the right, depending on which way you're going and where those teeth are. So very universal and again, funny looking, but worth it there. Oh, I did find an extra bobbin. I found four bobbins in here, but they're clear. So that's why they uh, hide. Okay. There are a lot of school caps. So let's talk school caps in here for just a second. There's some disc-like shapes. Some are a little bit smaller than others. And what you want to do is when you actually put your spool on the machine, when you're putting it horizontal, you need to kind of hold it in place. So these little spool caps will go on. You want to push them on all the way so there's no gap in between and also so the thread doesn't get caught, but it holds the spool in place. Now we'll talk about different ways to place threads on your machine that will best suit what you're trying to accomplish something like the bigger one here i'll use when i use the the bigger spool and we'll wind up a bobbin and thread the machine with pink pretty soon so i'll leave that to the side another way to place a spool on your machine is with the vertical spool pin there's a little hole right back here behind the bobbin winder and that can sit up top and you can place this here i don't always want my threads up on that top so i will be explaining some of the differences between putting it on the horizontal versus vertical option but you do have that in the machine as well Okay, a brush. We are going to talk about cleaning this machine, how important that is, and how to do it. So a brush is just easy, but you could either, either even find like a makeup brush or a Q-tip could all work in that place, but you always have one from the machine companies. This is actually a seam ripper, and if you take it out of its cap, replace the cap on the opposite end. It is long enough to hold on to and is not so short and stubby, but that is your seam ripper that is included. I think I get a seam ripper with every sewing machine I open up. Screwdriver, this is gonna be good for removing the screws in the plate. So when we clean out underneath here, you can get that loosened. This is also the screwdriver you're gonna to use to loosen that screw when you remove this ankle and switch to the embroidery foot. The one thing I do guide you on is using the screwdriver too tightly. I don't know how to describe this, but if you tighten the screw to put the needle in too tight, like you over tighten it over time, you're going to break let's just say break the seal and we'll no longer hold your needle in. So when we do use this to gently tighten our needle so it doesn't fall out, we're talking about a just a gentle turn, not a crank it down until it won't come loose type of turn. So just be careful on the needle screw. That is something we do run across often. Now, what in the world is this? This is actually a seam guide. Love to see this included because it doesn't come with all machines, but there is an opening on the back side of the machine that you can actually slide the seam guide in. And what this does is allows you to set it for a distance from the needle. So you can always have the same um, like seam allowance and it just goes in kind of tight, but then that way it stays and you can easily have the same hem if you're working on a hem or if you're doing any other stitching that requires, say, more than just the lines on the throat plate to follow. So seam guides are nice. That is what is included there. Okay, two other feet are also included. The A foot is actually on the machine when it was opened up. The B foot in your machine will even tell you like when to switch over to a different foot. So right up here, it'll say A or it'll say B or it'll say something else, whatever it actually recommends. So follow that little picture first. A B foot actually has a groove underneath that is cut out. Can you kind of see that opening? So any stitch that's a little bit denser or has a stitch that kind of goes forward, back, forward, back to be created, that will be the foot you have on. When I do like applique or satin stitching, I also want to use that foot as well. So I'm, I'm often changing feet. Again, follow what the machine says. Foot D, as in dog, is a blind hem foot. So when you actually pick the blind hem stitch, it will pick foot D, and then you'll know you have the right foot on for that as well. 
we have oh actually this is nice okay <laughs> what is this this is actually the screwdriver for the throat plate it's short and stubby so it can come underneath here and it's so much easier um, if you think about sometimes using a uh, coin to loosen that screw just because it's closer and not so long this is the answer to that so sometimes they put this in sometimes they don't so i'm glad to see that also in here a felt pad this is actually going to be used more in conjunction with that vertical spool pin put that on and then as your thread sits on it it doesn't just kind of rattle around it's kind of smooth and keeps it from just like spinning away on you so that would be where i would use the felt pad the most with this machine there is also a stylist that comes with the machine. So easy to then select stitches with, but just note that you can use both your finger nail if you touch with a point of it. You can also use the pad of your finger, but I do notice I have to push just a little bit harder with the pad of my finger to get it to activate. As I was playing around, I was noticing a lot of times I was touching it, but it wouldn't actually change unless I touched it again. So using the stylus could be much easier because it's kind of like using your fingernail. So either way works, but this is handy. There is a little opening right here if you want to tie a little ribbon in through that area and um, just keep it close by. All right, here is a thread net. Okay, I don't use this a lot, but boy, when the time comes, on occasion you get some threads that want to just like puddle or slide off the spool. Um, this is actually a long one, which would be good for a cone, but traditionally I don't need it that tall. I have been known to cut these in half and have two of them, and they just slip over the, the spool and kind of contain the thread while it's being used. So it doesn't kind of fall off or get tangled. So it's very rare that I actually need this. Sometimes I use it for clear thread or metallic threads, but it's nice. It's just gonna probably just sit in the bottom of your machine until you need it. You'll know, you'll know when you, <laughs> when you need that. Okay, that should get us going for all the accessories that came with it. I know we have the hoop for the embroidery, but that's pretty obvious. I'm going to go ahead and put all the accessories into the little um, compartment here. That way they will conveniently be right at my fingertips whenever I want to use them. All right, check out the links below. We have links to our online classes, to some of the needles that we recommended, and also to buying a few more bobbins for when you get ready to really start sewing. We do ask that every time you watch a video that you click like, and then that way we can keep bringing you free content on more machines in the future.